within five minutes, that indicator will show a loss of seven, eight hundred points, and we've been spiraling down as we go. Who is to blame for this? Well, we blame the Federal Reserve, a long policy of free and very cheap money. We can blame China, losing control of their market and their economy, and the absence of a plan. How do we get out of this mess? We're down 500 points, probably 600 within a few seconds, and that's what we have. Fox News viewers, thanks for joining us. Go back to, um, to, let's go back to uh, Martha and uh, Leland Bitter. All right. And we continue here on Fox Business with our coverage of what's going on on Wall Street. It is not pretty. Stuart, thank you. All right, Stuart Marnie uh, over at the Business Channel. We'll be going back and forth with them. Obviously, this is a day where their expertise will come into play in a big way. We are down 620 points so far as the market opens up. It has been a horrific uh, past few days, when you look at what happened on Friday, down a thousand points last week for the week, and we're now in a situation where the United States and China are both uh, underwater for 2015 after some pretty substantial gains early in the year. Let's bring in Jerry Willis uh, and talk to her a little bit at the Fox Business Network as we take a look at this, Jerry. Obviously, a very, very rough day. A lot of concerns about our largest uh, trading partner and the acceptor of many, many U.S. consumed goods in China. Tough situation. It is a tough situation. Let's remember the nexus of the trouble that is pushing the Dow down 954 points, very close to the open here. It's China and China's economic problems. Why does it matter so much? Because China, they provide about half of the global economic growth. That's what they've been doing for years now. Now that is in question, and now we're seeing the reaction in markets. I think at some point, investors here in this country will look up and realize this is not the United States of America that's driving this down. This is trouble in China. And as you know, the Shang uh, Zen uh, down 8.5% uh, overnight. That's one of the things driving the markets lower here. And the investors in that country, in China, mom and pop, it's regular folks who are getting uh, really the rough end of the stick here, seeing their investments, their retirements skewered. Uh, we've been watching this for some time now, and I want to remind people that stocks don't fall to the floor. There will be circuit breakers in place. Uh, there will be uh, trading halts. If stocks fall 7% or about 1,100 points, you'll see a trading halt for as much as 15 minutes. If there's a 20% decline in this country, you will see stocks close for the day. Those are the rules. That's typically the way it works. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to be watching this all day long and uh, seeing how this plays out. And like I said, if you're an individual investor here uh, trying to catch a falling knife, Martha, as Damn. you know, uh, the advice there is never to try to do it on a day like today. You just don't know what tomorrow is going to bring or how today is going to end. Mm -hmm. Martha? You know, what, what are the inside Wall Street folks saying about how long they think this is going to go on, Jerry? All right, I'm not going to keep going on and on, but as you can see, Dow Jones, as of uh, August 24, 2015, opening round the first, uh, we're at 3 minutes and 25 seconds of this video, and I started it probably... 10 seconds after it started so in the first uh under four minutes it was under a thousand points how's that pocketbook looking today